Syracuse gets its first loss of the season, a 34-20 loss to the Maryland Terrapins at the Carrier Dome. I'm Austin Polly. He's Seth Goldberg. Getting ready to break this down. Seth, it wasn't pretty, and it wasn't pretty for the get -go. No, it absolutely wasn't. The first thing was the Orange just, from the start, couldn't finish drives. They had a problem. They got into the red zone. They had to kick a field goal. They, they got into the red zone again later in the first quarter, had to kick another field goal. And so it was just, that was the problem all afternoon for the Orange. The offense moved great from 30 to 30. They picked up 550 yards of offense, outran Maryland by 280, 290 yards. So they were doing fine on offense. They just couldn't punch it in. Well, we, we've talked about this since the, since the game ended. What was, what was the issue? Well, was it so much the offense? Maybe Terrell Hunt, the passing wasn't exactly there, a little bit inaccurate, missing about, as Scott Shaver said, about 12 to 18 inches short. And the defense, you know, there, there's... It just seems like, again, you allow Maryland to score 34 points. There's part of the deep, there's some responsibility on the defense there. There's absolutely responsibility on the defense, but when you look at it, they really allowed 20. They, yes, there, there were 34 points scored in the game. They allowed like 24 because then, there, of course, there was a seven on the pick six, and there was a fumble late in the, in the fourth that led to another field goal. But it gave the it gave Maryland position inside their own inside the SU 30. So that really gave Maryland the chance to score. So it was really, the defense played fine. The defense did well. You can look at Terrell Hunt passing, but at the same time, they still picked up 550 yards of offense. They still did fine moving the ball downfield, whether it was once they got in the red zone, he couldn't throw, once they got in the red zone, they couldn't run. It's, it's very hard to pinpoint. The only thing that's very easy to pinpoint is the turning point of this game, which was clearly that pick six that was returned 88 yards. After the game, Terrell Hunt said, that he actually turned away from the sideline before the coaches were done giving him the play. Now, yes, is that a is that a bad thing? It absolutely is. But he also felt confident in that he knew what play was going to be called, and that led to a miscommunication between him and Adrian Fleming, I believe, who was the receiver on the play. And basically, what happened was it was an option route on the wide receiver. Uh, Hunt thought he was going to hook back in. That's where he threw it. Fleming saw the corner of the end zone open and went towards the corner of the end zone. It just so happened that Maryland had a cornerback right where Hunt thought Fleming was going, and that's where he threw it, and it was an easy pick six for Will Likely. You know, and Syracuse is looking to go 3-0 for the first time since 1991. It's certainly been quite some time since the Orange started 3-0, but now they move to a tougher task in Notre Dame. Next week, primetime, New York City, MetLife Stadium, there's a lot on that game. Syracuse has to bounce back. Now 2-1, two don't want to fall to 2-2. Two two. What are the keys going into that game based on what has happened in this one? Well, I mean, offensively, just do what they've been doing. They, obviously, the one thing they need to improve is that red zone efficiency. They've got to do better there. And really, they have to get healthy. They need Ashton Broyle back on this team. You saw that he, he has clearly emerged as the number one wide receiver, whether he is listed as that on the depth chart or not. He is Terrell Hunt's number one target. Jared West came back and made a couple plays. It was good to see him back in the pool, especially on that long pass, probably the best long ball Terrell Hunt has thrown in a season plus as yeah. the starter now. Yeah. And so you've seen that. The offense can move. Let's see the offense do it again. The defense did fine. They allowed 24 points for all intents and purposes. So let's see them do it again. Let's see them hold, hold them close enough that Syracuse can make a run at it. Maybe they do it tomorrow night. I mean, Cam Lynch came out for post game and said, hey, we've done it before. We beat West Virginia four years ago. We beat Louisville three years ago. We played these high profile games and we've gotten the job done. We're all excited for next week. Let's see what we can do. Well, again, Syracuse falls to Maryland 34-20 at the Carry Dome. The Orange now 2-1 and one on the campaign. They take on Notre Dame next week at MetLife Stadium in New York City. For Seth Goldberg, I'm Austin Pollock. More post game coverage coming up. Check us out, orangefizz.podbean.com. The FizzCast, coming up in just a little bit.